with iHealth2, visiting with Dr. Cheryl Selman. Dr. Selman, could you talk about the role of the liver? Absolutely. You know, we don't really think much about the liver when it comes to our hormones. No, you we know, don't. For some reason, I, I guess just because of our lack of information, women think that when they start having hormonal imbalances or they're going into menopause or whatever it is, somehow the hormones are out of balance over here and the rest of their body is merely going along over here, never realizing that hormones are really an expression of how well our body is functioning and how, how we are really supporting some of those root cause issues, as I like to call them. So fundamental to hormonal balance is a healthy adrenal gland, um, a healthy functioning liver, a healthy digestive system, proper balancing our blood sugar levels. These are all crucial to supporting hormones and our hormones will reflect when these other systems and, and glands are out of balance. So we really need to see hormones are expressing imbalances of these other, uh, other aspects of ourself. They tell us to pay attention. They tell us to pay attention. Really, hormone, hormonal issues are symptoms of imbalance. So one of the areas that's quite crucial to help our hormonal balance is a healthy functioning liver and particularly the liver's role in properly metabolizing estrogens. Now, we know the liver detoxifies all the chemicals, the things that either are coming into our body from the outside, but also what our own body makes. So it plays a vital role with estrogen. It plays a very vital role in estrogen. So we're producing estrogen naturally, or we may be getting estrogen from birth control pills, HRT, or estrogen mimics from the environment, the chemicals, but they all have to be processed through the liver. Now, if the liver is overworked, if it's taxed, if it's deficient in key nutrients, instead of properly metabolizing estrogen as it should be, which is taking the estrogen into the liver and kind of deactivating it and then passing it out of the body, the liver will actually turn um, the estrogen into a metabolite that becomes much more potent and powerful and estrogenic in nature and then gets reabsorbed back into the body. So in a sense, if the liver is not functioning optimally, we will be creating a form of a potent estrogen that is furthering these high levels of estrogen circulating throughout our body. And that's how we become estrogen dominant, as you talk about in your book? That certainly contributes to this problem, which actually is prevalent in most women who are dealing with hormonal issues of an estrogen dominant, estrogen excess situation. So how do we detoxify the liver or help the liver not to do this? Well, there's some basic things and some kind of, you know, fundamental things that we can do to support a liver. Um, one of the best things to support liver health would be something like milk thistle. Milk, thist milk, thist mm -hmm. milk thistle is an herb that's been known, again, for hundreds of years in its ability to support proper liver detoxification. So um, that okay. can be a very simple and safe thing to be taking on a regular basis to help the liver process things properly. Uh, something else that is really wonderful for the liver is uh, you know, cruciferous vegetables, because cruciferous vegetables, eating them broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, they have a variety of very powerful nutrients in them that help support proper detoxification of the liver. And if you wanted to take a supplement that could help, mm -hmm. you could take something that's, uh, oh, it's there's one supplement called IC3, which again is made from cruciferous vegetables. There's another supplement that's uh, called sulfurophanes. That type of supplement, which again is another aspect coming from cruciferous vegetables, is very powerful in supporting the phases of liver detoxification. What was that called? Sul Sul sulfurophanes. 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 Okay. Just so our viewers. Can and particularly found in, in broccoli. And broccoli. Yes, so you can oh, either wonderful. eat lots of broccoli or you can get supplements that have these nutrients in them. Um, B vitamins also help with liver detoxification, so a good B complex is really wonderful to be taking. Um, so, you know, you know there's, there are a range of things that can help, but we need to always think about liver when we're dealing with hot flashes and really support our liver, eliminate things that are toxic to the liver, such as caffeine, mm -hmm. alcohol, 
sugar. You know, often women will have a uh, cup of coffee or have a drink of wine and suddenly they'll have these hot flashes going on. And they don't really associate the fact that when they eat or, or drink those substances, they're actually overheating the liver. They're putting all these toxins into the liver, which is incapable of properly dealing with these substances and turning them into the, the good types of estrogens, and it contributes to their symptoms. Well, thank you for that excellent information. You're welcome.